EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cleveland Browns and the Washington Commanders. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Just a little ways east from the nation's political arena. We're in a much different type of arena here. Commander's Field in Landover, Maryland. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage and maybe six points, too. Ball teed up. Austin Seibert out for the kick. And we're off and running from Landover. Fielded at the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. So here are the Browns now, headed out for their first drive. Now we let out by a guy coming off a pair of shortened seasons. The former Pro Bowler now in his eighth year, Deshaun Watson. After winning the national title at Clemson, an early success at Houston, there's no question that Deshaun's career has been slowed by some injuries and other challenges. But when he is on the field at every level he's ever played, he's just got a calm. And that calm comes with the trusting of talent that he has in himself. He knows how to run. He knows how to throw. And when he's available, he's still a difference maker. Shotgun snap, a get to four. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Watson now. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. To throw, here's Watson. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And that leaves them with a decision to make on fourth and short. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. And leading them out, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Well, here he comes. Here comes the Heisman Trophy winner from a season ago, and what a show he put on, man. He was a stat stuffer. Over 1,100 yards rushing. Looked a lot like Lamar Jackson did back in the day in college. And oh, by the way, 40 touchdowns passing, too. You know why this Washington organization took him so high in this draft. They want him to be Lamar Jackson. They want him to be dynamic. And he's going to get his career off and running. Into the hands of Terry McLaurin. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. It's enough for a first down. Nice find by the rookie quarterback from LSU. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. They're set up at the 35 now. Daniels on first down. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 41. Falls 
close to the ground out left, incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they need to get four on third down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Daniels from the pistol. Oh, try forcing it to the slant. It's intercepted. Martin Emerson with the pick. And the Browns take over after forcing the first turnover of this ball game. Not the auspicious debut they'd certainly hope for on that opening drive. The coverage impressive, taking their first possession away with that interception. Hey, it is tough to play a clean game in this league. The caliber defenders are awesome. You just hope that eventual missteps happen at a less meaningful moment than your opening series. Mm. You don't want to make it any harder to get your rhythm and get your passing game going. Ball at the 33 for first down. Running left, here's Ford. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. And holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. From the gun, Watson. He's on the move. Now here he goes. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Out of the gun, here's Watson. Judy there to grab it. And he's tackled for a short game. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Working from the gun, Watson. We've got a man, it's Njoku. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. They find seven yards, and now they've got first and goal. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Here's Watson, first and 10. Misfire there, couldn't connect. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. From the gun, it's four. And he's in! It's a Cleveland touchdown! The Browns pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. Well, he found himself some space to work, and from there, all athleticism as he made his way in for six. You know, you run the ball down in the red zone, Kate, you're not always thinking touchdowns, right? Space is so hard to come by, mm -hmm. but you're exactly right. His athleticism, his explosion, his speed, it puts six on the board for the offense. On comes Dustin Hopkins to try the extra point. That one right down the middle. 
And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Here comes the Washington offense out to the field, ready for their second drive. And they got off on the wrong foot here with that opening drive interception that led to points the other way. Yeah, and what this defense has shown is they are going to capitalize on your mistakes, and not just a little, but by a lot. So from here on out, you better play some mistake-free football because this defense is hunting for more. Drive begins with a run. It's Robinson. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Out of the gun, Daniels. Tight end caught across the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They strike for 23 yards. And the Commanders will have a first. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. From the gun, it's Daniels. Hits the tight end on the corner route. And he'll go out of bounds close to that 35-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Complete. It's McLaurin. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to Landover right after this. Time now for the second quarter. Commanders in possession. They'll have second down as they look to continue this good drive. Again, Daniels to the air. He completes it in traffic. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. To the line we go. They're set first and ten. A give left side. Here's Robinson. And they make the play at the 23. A gain of only a little. Two on the pickup there and it's going to be second and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. On second down, Robinson. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Third and a lone yard coming up. Now Daniels to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. They find seven yards, and now they've got first and goal. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. 
Motion man left is Brown. And this is brought to a halt pretty early at about the eight. It's a gain of two on the play. Still some work to do on second and goal. Well, you call that play to surprise the defense, try to get to the goal line. But a quick adjustment by the defense, well, it kept him in position to make the stop and ruin that play. From the gun, it's Robinson. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Give him maybe a yard on that play, Brock. Still seven to go on third and goal. Well, you're getting a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, this becomes a critical third down call. Daniels, third and goal. Escapes the pocket. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. Jaden Daniels with the touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. That one splits the uprights, and we're all knotted up. It's all lined up. Seibert now ready to send this fly. Has this at the six. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give him a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Watson on first and ten. Pass brought in by Amari Cooper. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Ford straight ahead. And he'll scurry forward for a pickup of three. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Second down now, seven to go. Watson now off play action. Fires down the middle, and it is caught. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 30 yards on that one. And that gives the Browns a first. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. We've hit the two-minute warning now from the nation's capital. The Browns with a chance to score and take a lead into the locker room. First and ten. Here's Watson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down here at the 16. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. 
from the 16. That one complete to Njoku. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. And he sails that one over the end zone. Took his shot at six that time. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air, Watson. It's caught. And this is down all the way to the three. The Browns take the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Sticking to the air with Watson. On him quick, and they bring him down. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. It's second and goal. Throwing is Watson. And he will score. It's a Cleveland touchdown. The Browns get some late points and the lead. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. On his Hopkins for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. He's stopped on the return at the 27. Following the kick return, we've got somebody shaken up. So we're going to get a stoppage here as he's attended to. They're out and set, first and ten. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Fires over the middle, caught. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout, so that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 34. Throw complete to Eckler. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. 
On first down, here's Daniels. The Browns close in and take him down. Final timeout taken by the Commanders. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Trying again, following the set. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. And then brings up third down. Robinson on the inside give. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. Now the Browns spend their final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Commanders punting on fourth down, and they're going to bring out the ever-reliable lefty Vets Tressway. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. 58 yards on the punt there. And they'll take over with minimal time remaining in the half. They've got first and 10, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. Yep, as expected, they go to the ground to start this one off. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. So that's halftime here in this one. The Browns on the road, but currently in front. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. This return starts at the 5. This return makes it up to the 25. Out comes the offense for Washington to begin the third quarter. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. Drive starts out with a first and ten. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. First down, ball at the 36. Daniels from the pistol. Throw complete to Sinnott. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Here's Daniels. He's got it, room to run. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that'll be good for a Washington first. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. 
And any time you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, well, those are welcome bonus yards. The Browns close in and take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Even from the booth, Kate, I could hear it. I could hear that front seven telling the guys on the back end, hey, all I need is a couple seconds of lockdown from you guys, and I'm going to get to this QB. You promise that you deliver? And that's exactly what they did. Wasted no time in getting that sack. All right, here we go. Second down. Another try following the sack. That's McLaurin on the quick slant. And he'll get it up to the 44. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Out of the gun, Daniels. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. The commander's ready for the punt. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it, that one, headed for the sideline. So this one will go out of bounds, and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. The Browns getting their offense out there. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. And off running left, four. And this one does not go far. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Here we go, second and nine. Throw reeled in by Najoku. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He picks up 28 on the play. And that's good for a Cleveland first down. Man, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch. And it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Watson looking to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and six coming up here. Working from the gun, Watson. Judy there to grab it. And he touched him down as he finds enough to pick up the first. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Here's first and 10 from the 34. A give up the middle to four. And they bring him down at the 25-yard line after surrendering some good yardage. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, it feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. And the play clock hits zero. This is going to be delay a game. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hits zero. 
Offense to the line for second down. They'll run here following the penalty. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. So we hit the end of the third quarter. It's Brown's ball working to carry this lead through to the end. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. From the gun, Watson. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Second and three now. This is Ford on the handoff. And he drives this forward to the six. Four yards on the play, and that picks up a first and goal. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. And they'll let the clock run all the way down and expire. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. So now, after being backed up just a bit, another first and goal. Running it after the penalty. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. Call it four yards from there, partner, and still some ground ahead. Second and goal coming up. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Staying on the ground with Ford. And he won't challenge for the goal line. The stop made at the four. It's a three-yard pickup. That moves him a little bit closer. Third and goal coming up. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with a the loss, and make a difficult fourth down decision. Watson has it, third and goal. Looking touchdown, but can't connect. You know, that type of play is so doggone impressive, not just because it saves a touchdown. He had timed that perfectly to knock it free without drawing a flag, or letting him establish possession for the score. Here's an important kick now for Dustin Hopkins. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. It doesn't take a math major, Kate, to realize how important that field goal was. It's now a two-score game really late and puts them in the driver's seat to go and finish this thing with the win. Hopkins has it on the tee and is ready to send it flying. Starting from the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, hang on there. Hang on a moment. Looks like we've got an injured player on the kick return. They're going to check on him now. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. 
From the gun, it's Daniels. Here's one left side. He's got it. Complete pass. The big play nets him 17 yards. And the Commanders will have a first. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First and ten now. Here's Daniels. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing now, Daniels. And it looks great flying through the air, Bronk, but problems on the business end as it falls to the ground. Third down coming up. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Again, Daniels to the air. This one's hauled in on the left side. Never eat shredded wheat. North, east, south, and west, right, Kate? And I like on third downs, north and south. You start going east to west and eating that wheat, you could run into problems just like that. Defense just needs to hold them short. It's fourth and seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He finds him beyond the marker. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. The right call came in at the right time. Give him nine yards and a successful conversion on fourth. Oh, I love fourth downs. It just brings out the very best. And you get to see how you handle the most pressure. And it turns out, well, they handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing. Daniels on first down. He gets this one to McLaurin. And they bring him down around the 34. Working quickly here. Shotgun snap to Daniels. Completed here to McCaffrey. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. They get 13 on the pickup. And that'll be good for a Washington first. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Offense in the hurry up here. On first down, here's Daniels. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Sending a receiver left. Shotgun snap, a give to Robinson. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Daniels from the pistol. He's on the move. And he will score. It's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders make it a four-point game here in the fourth. Jaden Daniels with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down. Didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, Brock, the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind. But you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group with confidence. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. 
Fielded at the seven. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Back out now comes the Browns offense. And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Bronco. Response in order as they take over. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Out of the gun, here's Watson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. We've hit the two-minute warning here in D.C. Browns holding on to a field goal lead. Second down now, seven to go. This is Ford. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Another one for four. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. No surprises here. Defense quick to stop that clock. We've got 153 left in this game. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. To the ground with Ford. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Now whistles and a timeout taken quickly by the defense. 150 left to go. A less than ideal third and eight here. Here he is to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And they make the tackle at the 38. That play good for 17 and a first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. And he's going to take a knee. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock. But the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. A kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. And they'll kneel this down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. After one final kneel down, partner, and this should do it. So the Browns will take this win home with them. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths because uh, I don't imagine any of them were breathing easy during that one with how close this game was. Them or us? We're both. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> yeah, D, is, all of the above. It, it is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline surge they feel right now and that they felt at every major turn throughout the second half. There's just something about a close game, the intensity that's there in every moment that you love to experience as a player and that you hope in all these moments you can execute so you're the one celebrating and riding that wave of emotion. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one.